Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Oddballs. Hi, everybody. We are here with some more wackiness, ready to blow your mind, or not, or you've already figured everything out, and you're just like, please, Cox, this is easy. I know the answer. <laughs> In which case, that's the case answer, you please tell me. Email me. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, if, if anyone out there who does, who does know, and they have a theory, and they're ready to like get me with it. Let me know. I'm I'm ready to hear your thoughts because I've got some of my own, and y'all have no clue. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> um. Okay, so let's recap. Let's review. Let's let's go back. Last time, let's start with with uh, Elspeth. Last time, what happened to Fern? Oh where, God, where, where poor did, Fern! Yeah, what, a what question. happened to poor Fern? So, so Fern, oh God, what did happen? So Fern met uh, a character named Frank, who claimed that he knew her, and that she was supposed to meet him in this specific spot that she showed up, and she had no idea where she was. So Frank and Fern are uh, they're they're talking, they're trying to like like uh, you know get to know each other again. And Fern's still super confused. And then this, like, this this beeping, this pulsing radar thing uh, starts uh, getting closer and closer to them. And Fern shuts her eyes. And then all of a sudden, she's in the other dimension, back where everyone else is, she thinks. But she's still a ghost. She's trying to communicate through a computer with everybody. Um, and it's it goes not so great. Eddie keeps typing boobs. So we're, we're very much trying to communicate with each other. Happens. And yep. that happens. Um, so she, she ends up still being invisible, still being like on the other spectral plane or whatever, but they, she, she, she goes with the gang, she thinks, then they all go down this hill because we're, we're chasing someone apparently to Fern's knowledge. She rolls down a hill, fails every roll, except for one in which she does not roll off the cliff, rolls into a tree and then is woken back up, uh, on the other side of the other dimension. So she's still very confused about where everything is and where everyone is as well. It's true. And uh, <laughs> it seems to be getting worse for poor Fern. She yeah. keeps getting sucked back in. And strangely <laughs> enough, time seems to have no meaning in wherever you go. Mm -hmm. No, uh, it, that, so... that's the thing too. She she keeps uh, going in and out of existence. But at this point, it's like she no longer needs the balls to do that. She just, it's like she passes out. And then all of a sudden she's in this other uh, time. Uh, Meanwhile... <laughs> On the other side, Octo, yeah. what were the three of you doing? Uh, more specifically, what was Eddie doing when all of this was going down? Because as far as I'm aware, you were just typing in boobs. Listen, okay. Eddie is doing, listen, Eddie is doing his best to lighten the mood. He's like some sort of, uh, like, a, like a jester, if you will. Because our morale is at an all-time low. We don't know where Fern is. So what are we going to do? Get down on ourselves? No. We're going to make ourselves laugh by typing boobs into a computer. Um, that's that's we, what you did. You made Eddie laugh. Yeah. I mean, Everyone hey, else is trying to solve a mystery. What, one, out out of four, out on. one out of four ain't bad. Um, so uh, we, got, we found other Alistair. Uh, non-British Alistair, and he took us down this elevator, and at the bottom of the elevator, there was, like, a computer room, I think, and inside the computer room, um, it turns out that wherever Fern was, there, she was also in a computer room, and the computers were typing to each other, and we had to figure out what the passcode was, and apparently, this computer room tracks something this co the computer system tracks something and it, it uses metal in the earth which was also the passcode for the computer to um find whatever it is that we're looking for and alistair also explained that british alistair is his grandfather so that's the really so as far as he tells us so far as so that's the relationship um but the two agencies that grandson and grandfather seem to be working for are, seem to be at odds or we don't really know at odds so we don't really know what their whole thing is but i think yeah. that's pretty much what we did that's yeah so that's there that's the, 
There was yeah. the gun yep, incident. Go for it. Clarence shot uh, yes. <laughs> Time out. Time out. Ken, what the hell were you doing? I don't, know, I don't know. You just Clarence is trying to do his best. You shot a gun into the one person trying to help you guys. <laughs> we don't know who's really trying to help us around here. That's yeah, point. You really don't. You're right. You have no clue. You're absolutely right. Um, and he, he yeah. didn't die, so that's good. Yeah, Morgan, what? We all were, like, trying to find Fern. Fern was with you, but wasn't with you. You were communicating via lighters and knocks and, like, makeshift future flashlights. How... How are you going to, what is your thought process on how you can possibly keep up with Fern, whatever Fern does? Like, is she lost the world? Do you know, do you have any theories about what you can do to keep her around? Or do you just have to find the the balls? Uh, I think we have to, right now my goal is to find the balls. I don't have any grand big picture understanding of what is actually happening. I'm just usually focused on what's right in front of me, which is like, okay, Got to make sure she's with us. Like, I feel very maternal towards her, and I'm just very yeah. protective. And I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this happen somehow. But I have no idea sure. what's going on. No, okay. Well, me. Uh, Tell me. <laughs> yeah. If people, I want to. God, I, I've already seen some people message me really ridiculous theories, and I'm like, that's almost better than what the actual story is, guys. Yeah. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna steal your ideas. All right. So, let's start this bad boy. Um, as, as we left off last time, you all fell down a hill, just rolled down a hill and slammed into each other. It, it, uh, unfortunately is what happens when everyone has no body skill and those who do roll very poorly. So you all just fell down this, the side of this hill, chasing after what you believe to be the path that. Alistair and old Alistair went down. Um, as you start to sort of come to, you look around and there is debris and, and plant matter and just stuff everywhere. There's dust in the air. It is, you've definitely fallen a long way. You all have scratches and scrapes. Uh, Samantha's delightfully clean uh, guest shirt is just streaks of brown and green and uh, one of the sleeves is ripped and Clarence unfortunately is just as dirty as he was before <laughs> so some might say that's fortunate I guess but he's a mess Clarence is a mess Eddie somehow still looks the exact same still just as grungy and just as like but it's like a classy grunge Every, it's mm -hmm. it's one of those looks where you know he can pull it off, timeless really. Yes, mm -hmm. and further down the hill you see a spot right where a tree is, where something has rolled into the tree. You can see the path, but there's nothing there. Uh, as you look around you, you don't see Alistair or other Alistair, and all you see is in the distance the tree and a cliff face going off the edge, and in the distance, more wilderness of this state park that you guys have found yourselves in. So what is your first step? What would you like to do? I think we got to go to the tree. Okay. Is everyone else in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm in, a, I'm, in, I'm in tree mode. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so the three of you uh, hurry down the hill because it seems very obvious that's where Fern has fallen to. And by the, by the time you get there, you're not really sure what you're expecting to find because you can't really see Fern at all. But there definitely is a spot where someone hit a tree. Oh, can we, we can use our telescope. Sure. Okay. Uh, who who had it last? Was it I think Clarence who had it last, or it was one of the two of you had it last? Well, whichever of you had it. Uh, yeah, yeah. If I have it, I'll work on Samantha. 
So yeah, so you hand it off to Samantha, and Samantha, you look through this this um, flashlight slash magnifying glass slash whatever it is, and try to look through and see exactly what uh, is going on. See if you can find Fern. So yeah. you look through, and there's nothing there. You do not see Fern at all. You don't see Fern. You don't see uh, uh, Jezebel either. Uh, all right. Uh... I don't see her. I guess I'm just going to look around a little bit more and just try to check everywhere else. Okay. Is it, do you guys want to help her or what do you, I mean, are, do you feel useless? What can you do right now? Or do you want to uh, look for Alistair? What, what, well, what, yeah, what do you guys want to do? Footprints out here. Are there any more of these footprints that we saw to begin with? Are they, um, if you do it, if you did a search, you probably could find some if you look for it, but you, the path that the footprints did lead down, you guys rolled through. So okay. you'd have to look around to determine mm. if you can find a new path. Okay. Well, while she's doing that, then I'll, I'll look around and see if I can figure out where to go. Sure. Um, I would love if Clarence could give me a mm, investigate role. Okay. Well, this is just a one. I think, I think a one would be good enough. You've got, you've got very high. Oh, you nailed it. Yes. Hey. You, as you look around, you see that. There are definitely some bushes in the distance that appear to be rustled or pushed through, and you notice a footprint in the ground. So you definitely have a direction that uh, one of the gentlemen has gone. Okay, and this is like obviously bigger than Ern's foot, me, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is like a a man size twelve. So there's a, definitely a difference between thirteen year old Fern and this. Okay. I'll make point it out and let everybody know. Okay. Well, uh, Eddie. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Eddie. Eddie, what do you want to do at this moment? So Clarence has pointed out where Alistair's possibly gone. Samantha's busy looking for Fern. What would? What does Eddie do? Um, he's not real good at the thinking. Um, jeez, I I don't know. Uh. I'm going to do that thing, you know, when you're in class and you have to like, the teacher's looking at you and like, you have to pretend like you're working on something. He's going to do his mm -hmm. best to pretend like he's, he's looking, but he doesn't actually know what to look for. So he's okay. going to be like, mm, yeah, and like look under like a rock and maybe like move some branches around. <laughs> be like, mm, I, I, I don't see her. No, I don't know. Oh. And do you notice anything or are you just do I? That's a it? good question. <laughs> well, no, I'm asking, like, is there any, do you, d does in your like playing, are you like, mm -hmm. oh yes, this could be a thing or this, right. Mm -hmm. Or are you just like, oh uh, yeah, I'm looking like, do you see, guys, do you bring up anything guys, like, oh, guys, I found something. Guys, guys, yo, check out the sweet rock. But I could skip this like I four times. Asked. I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> uh, how many times? Yeah. Like four. <laughs> uh, Man, we we so got four pond. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, actually, Eddie sees nothing of any value. He's just looking around at stupid rocks and and just it's a waste of time. Meanwhile, Samantha. You still cannot find Fern. As you scan, she is nowhere to be seen. I guess we're going to have to follow the footprints, but we should make arrows and stuff for where we're going. Okay. Is that, you, is that your plan? I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think? Just remind me, was there, like a, was there like a cliff that we could have fallen off of here? Yes. <gasps> what if she fell off the cliff? <laughs> <laughs> do not say that do not say that we don't know uh we saw her hit the tree it's she's just probably in some other dimension that's it's totally fine it's like totally fine it's totally she, fine she's probably she's probably not fine stop so, it stop I'm, it all of you we are gonna listen, make a trail that she can follow so that when she wakes up or she comes back she can just follow us where we're going Okay. What if she fell off the cliff and is hurt oh. and needs our help? 
Okay. No, no, no. Okay. We're going to make a trail. So when she wakes up, we can just follow her. Okay. 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 Good. Perfect. So how do you do this? How do you make this trail? What is, what is the process? Uh, so we're going to figure out so where the, um, so Clarence knows where the footprints goes. So he can show us that. And then I'm going to make arrows pointing to where we are and make arrows with sticks. Ooh, hey, um, Eddie, can I use that cool rock you found? Oh, yeah, wait. What for? Well, to help, because she'll know that it's your rock. And so it'll help guide her to where we are. Eddie says nothing but taps his head like this and gives her the rock. <laughs> sure. So, so I'm going to make it, about, put that at like, the, the front of the arrow so she knows. And as, as I give it to her, I'm like. <laughs> uh, right. Samantha, right. I'm going to need you to do a. <sighs> do for me a tech roll. Because you're going to try and put this all together. I don't have a lot of that. Uh, I am aware. Wait, you might need some help. Oh, um, uh, oh, just tech. Yeah, actually, no, I'm fine. Then. Yeah. Yeah, it would be it would be a program, but you don't have anything in program, so it's just a straight tech roll. Great, you did it. Some Yay! somehow you did it. These are good rolls today. So you, yeah, Yay. you <laughs> put these arrows together, and you actually find a way to not just put rocks on the ground, but sort of embed them in the ground, so no one can kick them out of the way. It makes a really interesting pattern of like, yes, this is definitely an arrow and this is definitely something I should follow. So if Fern sees those, she will know which way to go. There is no, she won't be confused by like, well, they've been kind of knocked over. You have made a really solid path to follow. So now that the path is done, do you head after Alistair? Okay, can, I, can I see the, the dimensional kaleidoscope just for a second, please? That is, I'm writing that down. That's the new name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll kind of like go over to the, the cliff and just kind of like peek down real quick. Like, oh, like expecting to see a dead body down there. <clears throat> sure. Uh, you see I'm nothing. Sure you see. Not laying down there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You see, you see nothing, but uh, because I'm a mean person, I'm going to need Clarence to roll a uh, mind. Um, yeah, just roll a mind roll for me. If you actually, you know what? No, roll a, uh, tinker, tinker tech. Tinker tech. Okay. Cause you're using this over a cliff. You're fine. Never mind. You're great. Yeah. You aren't even affected by vertigo. You just look over. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. You look <laughs> over, you see this. I was gonna, I was really gonna have to make someone save you and you look over, but you see everything. And and Fern is not down there, and then you're fine. You you pull back from the edge, and uh, you learn something about yourself today. You have you don't have a fear of heights. You're totally fine. Whew. You are you are good. Yeah. Um, what'd you see? Well, she's not down there. You're right. Uh, I mean, I know. <laughs> I know. I mean, I don't even know why you did that. You're right, Smith. You're so cool. You and Eddie are so cool. Yeah, I know. We know. So, okay, so now that you've had this moment, <laughs> where where do you go? Do you go? Do you follow the the path that Clarence found? I think so. I mean, we can't go back up. <laughs> okay. So the three of you push through the bushes, and I assume Samantha, you are leaving a some sort of trail or a path as yeah. you continue to go. Okay. So we'll keep doing uh, checks to see how good the path is as you keep going. But for now, for the first part you're doing, it's a very, very good path. This initial just, path I, is, is. Is this a terrible idea, guys? Are we just telling our enemies where to find us? Is that what we're actually doing? <gasps> nah. Lot devices for the DM. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So All you, right, you, cool. keep, you keep going, and uh, as you move further down the side of this mountain, uh, you start to take in the fact that this is this is a place that's sort of just in your backyard, right? It 
you live right on the edge of this expansive wilderness, and none of you have actually ever been here except for Fern. Uh, the three of you have been caught up in your own world. Samantha is the the popular but like sort of new to the area kid. Clarence is the computer nerd who's always in door. And Eddie, Eddie is probably drunk or on drugs most of the time. So he's never been out here. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't know. I don't know. Eddie's you, Eddie. on life, man. Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Which is, he's which is why he's here. here. And so the three of you look around and the area you're in is unfamiliar. It is the middle of a forest on the side of a mountain that is pretty scary when you think about it. It's the sun's still out, but it's it's quiet and there aren't birds chirping and you're following the path of two guys who you barely know who are both trying to convince you that they're friends or that you, they're your friend, but at the same time, both trying to stop each other from controlling the balls. And you're walking into a situation that may or may not be problematic. And so all of that sort of washes over you as you continue down this path. And when you get to the bottom, you see a riverbed. And this river is less a rapidly massive flowing river and just like a the next level up from a creek, right? And it's just water coming down. It's very, very calm. Across the other side, you see old Alistair laying in the pebbles on the other side of the shore. It's a guy. That's not good. Hey. It's old man Alistair. Is he dead? We're going to have to poke him with a stick. It's an oldie, but it's, but it's a classic. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Let, me, let me do it. Let me do it. Absolutely. Can I, can I find a stick and poke him with it? Sure. Yeah. You don't even have to roll to find a stick. You're in a forest. <laughs> you, you find a stick. Is he on the same side as we were on, or is he on the other side? No, he's on the opposite side. So you have to go through the water if you want to get to him. Okay. Or find a way uh, around. I get from the distance that we are away from him, can we tell if he's breathing or not? Can we see his chest moving? No, right now you, can, you can't tell a thing. You just know okay. it's him because the type of outfit he's wearing, uh, he still has on his his sort of tweed jacket, and the fact that it appears to be just an older male. So you just put two and two together. And you're like, ah, oh, okay, it must be him. All right. Uh, I would like to look around to see if there's anybody else that we can see moving and then try to find a sure. easy path across. Um, do you want to do that, Clarence, or do you want to tell someone else to do that? To to give a look. Well, I'll make the suggestion. We should go, we should do you, we should go over there and see if he's okay. And then we should be quiet so we don't let anybody know. Just I don't know, who do we trust? I'm scared. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, Eddie. Reason a, thanks. I feel confident in the plan now. Okay, so wait. So you give here. a search? Uh I'll let me see if I can find a way around. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, yeah, Eddie, I'm gonna need you to oh roll for me a uh, God, a, a mind roll. You don't have investigate, so we'll just do mind. Oh, I literally cannot succeed at this. Uh oh, uh, you can get rid of. I'll get rid of you. I'll get rid of anger for you. You're not angry anymore. Okay. Yeah. Am I able okay. to help him do this? Or do you do it alone? No. no, you do not see one. But you can ask for help. You can ask if anyone else sees one. Okay. You guys see a way around? I, I... Sorry, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I uh, yeah, I mean, we can just walk through, though, right? You definitely can. It's not, <gasps> there aren't, it isn't like a really powerful river. It's just uh, like a stream. Wait, but, can I, can I throw a rock at him? You can't. You can throw a rock at him. I'm so sorry. Not like, a rock. <laughs> Not like a big one, just like a little one. Like a Good pebble? Idea. Sure. Yeah, like a pebble. Okay, I want to do right, that. Yeah. Okay, so Eddie, uh, roll to throw a rock. This is a force roll. Yeah. So you find a like a nice size pebble. It's almost perfectly round. It, 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 I'm sure if you cracked it open, there'd be geodes or something inside. It's just like 
the perfect pebble. Okay. You give it a look, a little blow, and then you toss it at him. Mm-hmm. And it bounces right off his butt, and you hear a grunt. Oh, he's alive. Okay. Well, uh, what do we do? Should we get him or save him or what? I feel like we should help him. <sighs> should He's not going to be happy to see us. <laughs> he saved my life once. I feel like I kind of owe him a little. That's true. He also uh, gave me a real gun. That yeah, was he did do that. Maybe we shouldn't save him. Yeah, he does <laughs> not have good judgment at all. Like, not even a little oh. bit. I don't want to get my pants wet, though. <laughs> Samantha just laughs at him and then just like... <laughs> um, do the first time. Uh, all right, so how do we find our way around this river, pond, or whatever? Creek. I mean, we can try uh, to find a way around. I'm not, I'm not upset about getting wet. I mean, my clothes are already like ruined. Just look, just so we can find a sh- more yeah. shallow area. Oh, yeah, that's and I'm gonna roll body roll. If I go out there, you're going to make me roll body roll. I'm going to drown and die. No. <laughs> That'd be the saddest death. It's just oh, like yeah. slow flowing water. You just fall face first in and oh. die. Uh. Uh, yeah, let's do a investigate roll, Clarence. All right. See if you can find another way. Yeah, you know, I was looking over here when Octo rolled his mind and how like all the other ones got like numbers in him. His mind just has, there's not even a number. There's not even a zero. Yeah, because he, he has the least mind possible also how is that uh you don't see anything clarence this is nature i don't know anything about nature it's weird yeah yeah uh samantha could try if she wants to but yeah yeah you don't see anything okay so samantha you are going to roll and investigate as well you nail it oh my god so clarence describe the scene for me clarence you are looking for something that you don't see and samantha just like what how how does this all play out yeah what what do you do samantha i'm over there like looking kind of like poking in the water with the stick trying to see stuff uh i guess it's just like a rock you know like a natural sort of rock bridge that we can cross that's pretty easy um you can kind of like step stone between the on the rocks okay so it's like this big thing right behind me i'm like looking i can't see it it's just there (laughs) That's exactly what it is. You're facing, you're looking at the water, trying to like tiptoe in and see if you can find a place that's shallow. And Samantha's already behind you on this rock formation, like signaling for you all to come. And you just you just look up and she's just leading the way. Yeah. I like look Absolutely. up and the sun is like behind her head, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> her hair. So for some reason, there's like a fan in the background blowing her hair perfectly. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, you find you find your way across the river, and now you're on the same side as uh, old man Alistair, who's definitely alive. I guess we should turn him over. Sure. Uh, did you bring the stick? <laughs> I did promise Eddie that he would get to poke him with a stick, so I don't think I should take that away from him. That's mine. All Listen, right, give this to me. Yeah. Are you doing this, Eddie? Are you are you are you poking this guy? I'm poking this guy. Okay. Uh, you don't need to roll for this. You definitely poke him. You poke him, and he uh, he makes like a grunting noise. He's definitely conscious, but he's non-responsive other than grunts and stuff. He's just passed out. What is if he has the balls? We need those. I'm not touching his butt. We like check his pockets, his back pockets. And then we'll roll, we'll roll him over and we'll check his coat and stuff. What if I like we'll reach, what if I reach in his pocket and like I feel his wiener or something? I, I feel you. That's why I'm not doing it. Yeah, not it. <laughs> his wiener. No, no. So just, All right. this is the back. He's face down, right? So this is just the back. So you just would touch his butt. But like a little bit to see if there's. Ooh, we could just do it with a stick. Just do it with a stick. I'll, okay, look, I'll search his pockets, but don't. 
Don't make fun of me, okay? Okay. You're... It's like all those bad uncle jokes. Find his balls <laughs> in his pocket. And he so pulls yeah, out you, you, search, you, search the his, you search through his pocket. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Uh Clarence. <laughs> I need you to roll a investigate for me, if you would. As you dig, as you dig <laughs> through his pockets. Don't fail this. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna start with his we're gonna start with his backside. We're gonna start with his butt. Okay. Ooh. Uh, good. So That's a nice, nice shapely body. In his, has. yeah, yeah. As you dig through his back pockets, you find a wallet and nothing else. Does he have ID? Okay. Keep. Uh, you can look through the wallet if you want. Oh, uh, I pull the wallet out and like kind of toss it over towards Eddie on the ground. See, see if he's got a driver's license or something. See if his name's really Alistair. Um, okay, I'll, like, leaf through it. Sure, Eddie, the... uh, as you look through it, you discover that in the actual wallet proper is no cash. Uh, there is an ID that says Alistair Wolf, but it is not some British ID or anything like that. It is an ID for the state of Maryland, and in the one pocket that has a card... That would be for a credit card or whatever is just a solid black card with nothing on the front or back. Oh my God. Let's look at it through the telescope. Whoa. Cool. Uh, I'll take, I'll take the black card. That's like sure. one of those no, no limit credit cards. This dude's balling. This has got to be <laughs> like, if you really mess up in soccer, a little crazy. <laughs> So, yeah, okay, I'm going to uh, look at it with a telescope. Samantha, you shine the light at it, and yeah. uh, what you see through the telescope, there's nothing written on it, but there is a strip. You notice that, uh, very similar to a key card or a credit card or something, there is a strip, but it's it's as black as the actual card itself, so it's not noticeable to the eye unless you look through this. You guys, there's a strip on it. It looks like like the back of a credit card, but maybe it's like a key to something. We should definitely take it. We'll just tell him that his wallet wasn't in his pocket. No, just to, mm, we could throw his wallet in the river. Yeah, good idea. Way, Eddie throws his wallet in the river. <laughs> okay. Um, Eddie, I need you to roll a body for me. Uh, a, a force. Jesus. Oh yeah, no, it. you don't just throw Fuck it in the river. Thing. You yeah, you throw it with a force that it is when it hits that water, it doesn't just sink to the bottom or whatever. It floats down. It just like skips and floats downstream and it is gone. That yeah, man is that. never finding his wallet again. It is gone. Um so now you have his card and Alistair's laying there on the ground. Uh <laughs> You continue to look through his suit and pants. Yeah. Okay. I need you to investigate again, if you'd be so kind. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So where do you investigate first? The suit or his pants? Mm. Uh, <laughs> I'll go for the suit first. Sure. You look through his suit and... uh. You notice that there's nothing in there. However, you are very quickly, uh, you quickly come to the uh, recognition, realization, whatever. Uh, you come to the realization that um, he has in his uh, suit a, um, a series of like numbers written on a piece of paper, but it doesn't necessarily belong to anything. Um, you can take it if you want. You can leave it. You can do whatever you want with it. But it doesn't seem like it's just there. And it doesn't seem like you would recognize why that's important or what purpose it serves. It's just a like a piece of paper with numbers. Yeah. Is How it like a, a lot? Yeah, it's like a lot of numbers. Is it? It's a lot of remember? numbers. Okay. It, it, yes. It's like it's like a. Well, you know what? Let's roll for that. It's about twenty numbers, <laughs> and uh, let's see. And they're all single digits, so it's possible. That Clarence could remember it, 
if you did a uh let's see a comprehend roll okay <laughs> yeah yeah you definitely you can you can <laughs> remember all those numbers if you want it's a series okay, well, of 20 I'll... numbers they just seem random they aren't in any special order it's just random numbers yeah well i'll put those to memory then it's sure. heck yeah and uh remember, he's not shot or remember. anything is he? he's not bleeding while i'm looking through his jacket he, there's no blood no he's just unconscious okay and then uh if he's not waking up yet then i'll uh make for that one more roll for his pants sure let's do it roll for pants <laughs> yeah roll for pants. investigate right yeah Ugh. yeah so you reach into his pants and <laughs> to your surprise, you feel two balls. Now are these metallic balls or well, uh I, I mean I <laughs> guess that's no, of course they are. They're two metallic they're two metallic balls. Yeah. You, you, nice. feel, you, you feel the two metallic balls and they sort of clink together. Okay. Well yeah, then I will uh pull them out of the pocket. Sure, you pull two balls out of this man's pocket. Uh, and you hold them up into the sunlight and it sort of reflects off of them. Uh, how do you guys react? Yeah, I pull them out, like hold them above my head, like. And I like hold them out to, uh, to Samantha. I mean, we got the balls back. What, 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 what do we do with them again? I don't know. We never really figured that out. Well, you knew Burns more about them than one. I did. Oh, I take them and I and I forgive Clarence a little bit. What, oh, what just a little bit. <laughs> should we? Okay, like we go, a lot more. Do we need to like run away now that we got the balls, or do we need to? He's he's alive. Oh, okay. So we wake him up, and then we tell him that when we found him, we just pretend that we. Had nothing to do with anything. We didn't take the balls. I don't have them. Uh, we, uh, maybe we shouldn't wake him up. I mean, we we don't really know who's trying to help us and who isn't here. Did he? Yeah, that's true. Happen to notice a gun on his body when I was searching him? Uh, no. What what you found is what you found. He has no weapon. He uh had a wallet that you threw away. And uh, he had a series of numbers written on a scrappy piece of paper. And that's it. That's all he had. It's quite possible someone could have taken his stuff. But then why didn't they take the balls? A lot of questions. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I, uh, I would... Looking him over still, does he have like, like a bump on his head? Is there any obvious reason of why he's like sure, laying sure, here? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, roll me and investigate. We can see if you can tell why he's there. Okay. Damn. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. So you look over him and uh, you see nothing. You see absolutely nothing that signifies that he was attacked or assaulted. As you look around the area, it appears like there are footsteps that lead right there, and then he just is on the ground. That's There's weird. no sign of a struggle. There's no nothing. Hmm. Well, I guess, I guess he just... Maybe heat stroke or something? I don't know. <laughs> like, look around. There's, there's, He's not hurt or anything. He's just laying here. Maybe he's just asleep. Yeah, maybe he just got tired. That's true. Yeah, I'd buy that. Napping in the wilderness. It's relaxing. Yeah, Eddie did kind of convince me that we should just let sleeping Alistair's lie. You just want to leave him? Maybe he's having a heart attack. We should put him in a big glass box and then be like, see how you like it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that idea so much. <laughs> um, I know we are at an impasse. 
Well, you guys, I, I can't. He saved my life. I can't. I can't leave him. But you guys need to find Fern. You got the balls. That's what we needed, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold on. What if we touch the balls together? Didn't so wait, wait, wait. Didn't something happen last time we did that? We can try it. I'll just, yeah. I just like slam the balls together. Bam. Ooh. Force and gusto. Sure, sure. With applause. You slam the balls together and nothing happens. Okay. Well, never mind. No, 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 it's a good idea. I'm, we're down, we're going to try everything until we figure this out. So any ideas? So when awesome. he slams the balls and nothing's ha nothing happens. Nothing happens. Uh, last time we touched the ring to the balls, it like sucked out the energy of it. We like heat, heat it up. So uh, try, try touching the ring to the balls. They may be fake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. What happens? Nothing happens. Okay, what if I hold one and Clarence holds one and then we touch them that way? Sure, nothing happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, nothing happens. I don't... Do that okay, make what a jingle if... if I, am I shaking my, my ear? <laughs> like the Chinese... No, they don't. Balls? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Just nothing happens. So when, when Fern and I did it, which we probably shouldn't do because it was really bad. Um, where we brought the thunder oh. and lightning in the end of the world, and we kind of yeah. encouraged the apocalypse to happen. So what happened is I had the ball, a ball in each hand, and then she put her hands on top. But I don't know if we should do that because that was a bad thing. Maybe we don't do that. <laughs> it's, it seems kind of cool. It was cool. Um, Eddie almost died. Sorry about that. Um, well, if they're not the real balls, or maybe they just need to be charged, maybe it won't work anyway. We got to test it out. This is for it's for science. How do, science. We, how, do we, how do we charge them? I mean, we could do the fire thunder thing for just a second to see if it worked. Wait, maybe you gotta maybe you gotta shake them. You know, like uh, you know, like you gotta get, put a what is it called? Like co kinetic Shaking. energy. Oh. Yeah, kinetic. Yeah, wait. I grab, I grab the balls and I start shaking them. Nothing happens. You literally just <laughs> I shake, wildly I shake, shake balls. I shake them even harder. I'm no, shaking. nothing happens. Nothing. Nothing at all happens. Nothing. I shake them really hard. Nothing happens. You look like a fool in the forest, but nothing happens. What if I fire them with my lighter? Sure. You. You. Uh. Put the fire to one of the balls, and you notice the metallic sheen starts to sort of wear down on one of them. I think the old man pulled the old switcheroo on us. Maybe. Oh. We, we wake have to up? keep them anyway. Yeah, keep them. Yeah. Okay, maybe, maybe Eddie and I go when we hide behind a rock, and you wake them up. And then you say that we ditched you, and but we'll be like right here in case anything happens. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'll go with it. Okay. So uh, Eddie and Samantha, you hide. All right. I'm gonna need both of you to roll for me. Uh, <laughs> let's do. Hmm, what would this be? You are going to do a, um, yeah, so this is a body roll. And if oh. you have sneak, it's a sneak roll. Oh. Well. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, uh, Eddie, you, you successfully like camouflage yourself very well. You fall back into the foliage, like, and you're just the very hidden. The yeah. natural grunginess. <laughs> You sort of hide behind a rock. <laughs> and when we'll, I guess we'll find out how, how visible you are. You like hide behind a rock. It's not very clever. From a different angle, you definitely would be seen. Uh, yeah, so Clarence, it's just you left alone with this man on the ground. <clears throat> well, 
Uh, he's moaning and stuff. Maybe um, I, I try to attempt to wake him up, like roll him on his back and like kind of slap his cheeks and see if sure. I can get a response out of him. Sure. You give him a, you know what? Hell with it. I'm going to need you to uh, do a, uh, let's do a, Trying to come up with a creative way for you to actually succeed at this. Just do body. I know. I was like, can you do tech? No, do do body on this. <laughs> one one yeah. die from <laughs> So you slap him, and it's not very hard. But he does he does go like Ugh. Okay. Like after he kind of uh, got a look in their direction where they went. Yeah. I don't see Samantha just sitting out there. Samantha is my hair pl- is like above plain. the rock. Yeah. Samantha's, my white Samantha's, are sticking out. Oh yeah, you are reflecting off the sun. You're you're wearing all white, and just like it's very obvious that you're there. Yeah. So Clarence looks over at Samantha and just sort of. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> Not very sneaky. Where'd Eddie go? <laughs> I look at Samantha I'm like. Um. Uh, so nothing, huh? He's not waking up at all. What about pouring water on his face? I'm like, pour water. Water. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get up and go to the creek and like try to get some water in my hands and sure. run back over there and um, throw it on him. Yeah, so you throw the water on him and he just like, what, 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 what? And he like looks at you and then he starts feeling his pockets. Alistair, Alistair, calm down, calm down. What, it's the year what did you, 2000. What did you do, boy? What did you it's do, boy? <laughs> what, what do you mean a coma? Where's the balls? Well, uh, well, we found you laying here, and then and then the, the other guys, they like took the balls and they ran off, but I, I couldn't leave you because, you know, I don't, want, other guy? don't want you what to do you mean? Where, what, what, do you, what are you talking about? Clarence? Clarence, my boy, what are you talking about? Who took the orbs? I mean, Eddie and Samantha, of course, because they need to get the to get the to get 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 a friend back. Eddie, Edward and Samantha took the. Why? Why do they do that? What? Where is my wallet? <laughs> yeah, Eddie, where's his wallet? <laughs> what wallet? <laughs> <laughs> The, the wallet that was in my pants. It had everything. What happened? Clarence, what happened? It. How did you find me? Why are you in the forest alone, Clarence? How did you get out? Well, we, we, we were like, we were all stuck in this box thing where you left us, right? And then we like used, used our super like ring power that you gave me. We broke, we broke the glass. And then we came out and there was like gunshots everywhere and, and it was it was scary and awful and all these dudes in suits were around and we like ran to the bathroom and tried to find a way out. We found like the secret hatch and like then your grandson was there and he said you're a wanted man and you're not good, but but I, I, wait, I couldn't wait, just leave wait, you. Whoa, hold, hold. You saw my grandson. He was he he was there. Well he said he said he was. I, 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 okay, I don't see the resemblance. But you got the same name. That boy, that boy, I can't. I told him to stay out of this. I don't know what he's doing. Clarence, I'm happy you made it out, my friend. I really am. It was not my intention to leave you behind, but they had guns, many, many guns, and I I had to run. I had to run to protect the bulls. Those orbs are the key to all of this, Clarence. Well, how, do, how do we use these keys to fix it? I... I, that's the problem. I'm not sure. I don't know that anyone truly knows. That's the greatest mystery of all. That's what we're trying to solve. Well, we, lo- we lost Fern again. And that, that's all we want. We just want to find Fern and get out of this. Oh, my boy. I, I want you to find Fern, too. Without Fern, we'll have no answers. That's sort of why I'm doing this, really. Well, you want to find Fern, too? Yes, of course. I knew you were a good guy. Thank you, my boy. I, I knew you were good, too. I saw the look in your eyes. 
Yeah. Well, well oh, what do we do now? Like they're, they, 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 they use this big sonar gun telescope thingy or whatever satellite and they track the balls and then we, we ran out. They ran out in front of us or Alistair did the, not you, the other Alistair. I don't even know where he is. What happened to you? Why are you passed out on the side of the water? I don't, I don't know. I was, I made it across the river and uh, the next thing I know, I'm talking to you. You're old. <laughs> he like laughs and he <laughs> looks at you and he sort of wipes off the, the, the dust and dirt from his suit. And he's like, I understand. My grandma has have... a big nap in, in opportune times too. I understand. Wait. It's okay. Wait. Do I do I yeah. still have that? Do I still have that fake gun? Uh, you do. Yes. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I'm no, not going to no, do no, anything no. yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. He sort of he sort of wipes off the the dirt and dust. He's like, you have no idea, boy. Being old is the worst. You make pies. My grandma makes really good uh, pies. I can't make pies. My wife, she she could make pies. Meat pies. Have you ever tried meat pies, Claren? Yeah. Yeah. They're really good. They're, they're, they're delightful. Does your wife still make pies? He, he sort of looks off in the distance. He's like, no, she doesn't make pies anymore. And he, he uh, is looking around for... He's talking to you, but he's looking around for his stuff, basically. Yeah. Well, you, you know... I mean, you... you you may like my grandma. You know, she makes real good pies. I, I'd like to meet her one day, Clarence. Well, if if we all make it through this, then I'm sure you will. And you'll we'll have a nice meat pie for you, buddy. Oh. I hold my hand up like an awkward high five. <laughs> he looks at you and, and uh, nods and walks away, leaving you hanging. Rude. And uh, he keeps he keeps looking around for his stuff. He's like, are you, sh- are you sure you haven't seen a wallet? Clarence, it's very important. Shrug. What did it look like? Uh, it was a leather wallet. It, it uh, was brown and it had an ID in it and uh, some money and a few cards and things. Why is lying? Liar. I didn't have any money in it. <laughs> he turns and looks at you. He's like, I'm I'm sorry, Clarence. What? The money? Uh, didn't we talk about this in the car that you don't carry cash? He looks at you and he's like, no, but I did take some. Why do you know about this? What aren't you telling me, Clarence? Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, what? <laughs> he walks towards you, uh, not menacingly, but as an adult figure would to a child who really just screwed up. And he just sort of gets in your space. He's like, Clarence. I look down at the ground. And... I, didn't, I didn't take it. Where are you standing at, Clarence? Which, wh- where are you facing? Um, you're having a conversation with him, and if you can picture this riverbank, you are yeah. the river is to your right and it's flowing by you, and uh behind him is where uh the rock path that you guys had walked over uh to get there. The in front of him behind you is uh sort of a forest wooded area, and to your left is the rock that Samantha's hiding behind. Um, do you try to angle him away from where everyone's at? Or are you, what are you trying to do right now? Um. <laughs> huh. Clarence can see her earlier. So yeah, I think I'd probably be like trying to like step around between like him and like the river, I guess, away from them since I can see her so plainly. Sure, sure, sure. So. Uh, yeah, let's do a, uh, boy, you, you poor, you poor sweet man. Let's do a, 
let's do a um and we'll roll investigate so you can counter his investigation of you. Okay. See if you can can negate what he's trying to do. Sure. <sighs> yeah. He stays focused on you. Um and he looks directly at you and he seems very mad. He's like, Clarence, did you take my wallet? Look, we, we, and he just kind of thought it would be funny if he took your wallet and threw it into the creek. He stops and looks around. Edward, I know you're here. No, they took the, they took the balls you had in your pocket and they ran back up to, f- to where Fern, we last saw they Fern. Took the balls. Oh my God, those. <laughs> he turns and looks away frustrated and stares directly at Samantha. And he's like, oh, for the love of it. Hello, Samantha. <laughs> no, Samantha, I mean, I she, like... she ran off with Eddie. Oh, no, no, she's <laughs> clearly behind that rock over there. Hello, Samantha, you can come out now, I see you. No, I'm staying. He walks over to you and just stares no! down at you. And he's like, what are you doing? Samantha, it's very obvious you're here. You Clarence, run. where's I'm... Edward? No, where are the balls? Enough games. Mm. First of all, there's like totally time for more games. Uh, second of all, you play tons of games with us all the time and tell us nothing. And third of all, you're welcome for us not abandoning you here in the woods to get eaten by a lion or a tiger. Because that's totally what would have happened if we had just left you here. I'm not sure there are lions or tigers in this part of the world, but thank you for the sentiment. Um, mm-hmm. Edward? And he sort of looks around. Uh... Let's do, if you could do another roll, a body uh, roll for me, Eddie, and see if you can keep hiding. Yeah, no, he still doesn't see you. Still doesn't see you. He's like, Edward, I know you're here. And he looks around. He's like, oh, for the love of Clarence, Samantha, what happened to the balls? It's important. Eddie left with the balls. Edward took, you let him take those? Just by having them in his hands, he could cause terrible devastation. What could he do? Have, have you not seen what you've almost done? Oh, you're talking about the apocalypse thing. Yeah, that was like a thing. Totally. Yeah, the apocalypse. Is that what, is that what you think? Oh, I mean, Martha, I don't know what you know, but you know nothing. Okay, well, tell me. I you can be the simply... teacher. I will learn from you. Samantha, I don't have time to teach you. We have to find these balls, or else we could be in real trouble. Eddie doesn't know what he's doing. You're so boring. Um, oh I think Eddie's God. actually pretty good. You're the one who gave Clarence a gun, which turns out not the best move, does not show excellent judgment on your part. You're su- I mean, I feel like you're like kind of old enough to know better. I would know better. He uh, looks at Clarence. Yeah. He looks at Clarence. He's like, Clarence, do you still have the weapon? No, no. Uh, uh, grandson Alistair took it away from me. Oh, for the love of. <sighs> the benefit of all of humanity, by the way. It's better. Well, there's one, there's one less bullet because I shot at him. What? You shot at my grandson? Why? What? Wait, 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 he, he gave Eddie a gun. It was like, Eddie, shoot Clarence. And I was like, I'm not, no, oh, I'm not having this. And shot at him. It diffused wait, the situation it, successfully. Wait, 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 wait. He like looks at the two of you and grabs you, Clarence, and starts shaking you as he says. He's like, Edward has a gun and the balls. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he threw your wallet into the, the creek too. He, he <laughs> lets go of you and just storms off. He's like, I, Edward, I will find you. And he starts walking off towards the woods, but in the opposite direction of where Eddie I is. Say, I say it myself very quietly. No, you won't. <laughs> yeah, he, storm, he storms off. And he's like, Clarence, Best. when I find the balls, you and I, sir, need to have a chat. And he, he, he storms off walking away. Y- y- yes, sir. Hmm. Um... So, meanwhile, Eddie, what, do you come out right away? Do you do anything? 
or are you what are you doing right now you have ba- the two balls which uh-huh. are in one hand you have a fake gun what are you doing right now what is your next step uh i wait until old alistair is out of like i can't see him sure. anymore sure he's 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 walked into the woods he okay. is hu- trying to hunt you down okay so i i stick my head out i stick my head out and i say first of all i'm the best second <laughs> why'd you throw me under the bus like that well, i mean, I mean it's, it's it's be scary okay i think we should book it yeah i agree i re- i think we should go yeah let's get out of here yeah where okay. to where do you go the- Opposite direction that Alistair is going. Okay. What we go Which is where? where we go exactly. Can we go back? We still have to find Fern. Yeah. You can go we... back to where you were. You left a path. You just follow it in reverse. Do we know where town is? You do not. You only Fern knows where town is. Can we can we head? I was going to say, maybe we can go back to the bunker, like back to where we came from, but I don't know you if that's You very well could. Uh, you very well could do that. Yeah, you could do that, but it's right, in, it's up the hill from where Fern was. So you technically would just be going back to where Fern was. Eddie, you're like the we... smartest guy I know. What? Yeah, I am. This... What, what are you making? Oh, like, like, Alistair thinks that we still have like the real balls, but we got like fake Fake ones are deep powered balls, right? I think they're the same balls. You think they're like apocalypse balls? I think they're apocalypse balls. Should what we if, try to light them more? I think we should follow. Maybe if we follow the river downstream, we're going to find the town. Right? Sure. 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 And then we can talk on the way. Okay. And I think we shouldn't okay. stop leaving a trail. Okay. Okay. So you guys uh, head towards at wherever you're going. We'll see. We'll see uh, what the rolls say about that. But as you start to walk off, uh, the camera sort of goes back up the hill, back to the spot where Fern had hit this tree, and it does sort of a like a little flash, and. Fern opens up her eyes and we're back at her and she's staring at a familiar face or the visage of the man she knows as Frank. The place she's at right now is much like all of the other times she's been to this other side where it is devoid of life. The trees are just sharp, leafless limbs sticking up out of the ground. There is uh, this haze in the sky, and the earth has weird sort of mushrooms on it, and things seem very, very different than she is used to. But uh, she's laying hurt on the side of this tree, and Frank is standing above her. Uh, Ow. Oh, hi. Hi again. Uh, I'm sorry. Have we met? Hi, yeah, hi. Um, ew, ew, ew. hang on a second. I think I got like a branch or something in my side. I don't know. Oh, uh, you? Yeah, uh, it's Frank, right? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's it's. How did you? How did you know? What do you mean? What do you mean? How, uh, what do you mean? How do I mean? Uh. Wh- you're I, you're you're the guy. Just, you're the guy that that gave me my my stuff. It was it was really it was just like what 20, 20 30 minutes ago. Probably. I, I don't, no, I don't. Who are you? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm Fern, and you're Frank, and you're gonna take me to my brother, right? You're. I I don't. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who. I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. I, uh, do you need help? Are you okay? And he like puts his hand to your forehead to like feel your temperature. No, no. Uh, I mean, I, I did. I did just run into this tree. I mean, I, I, I 
roll down the hill with my friends, and he probably can't see them. But but I just you, hit this there, tree. There are others. There are others here. Yeah. You well, you, you you can't see them. They're they're on the other side. You know what I mean? He like feels your head again. They're like, they're not you? they're not here. Yeah. Are you? Um. Hey. Oh. Uh. You uh you have you had a bag of my stuff, right? I, miss, I I don't know who you are. Well, I'm Fern. I just yes, just, I'm, just I'm aware. We did okay. just meet right um, I'm right Fern, now. I, Fern I don't. Fisher. Fern Fisher. Okay, and you were you were going to take me to my brother. Uh, that's where we was going. I I d- your your brother. <sighs> Right? None of this. My brother? None you of know this my makes, brother? None of this, no, none of this makes sense to me, Fern. I... Uh, we... And he sort of... He points behind him, and two more men step out behind uh, this... Behind these trees. And they're definitely... They've been watching you, but they haven't come out to interact. And now they just reveal themselves. And there are a total of three guys uh, standing in front of you now. Um, Okay. So, uh, are these your friends, Frank? Frank looks behind them. He's like, they're my friends. All right. We, uh, we, we've been here for, for some time. How, how long is some time? He looks back and, uh, he says, how long you think? One of the guys looks at him. He's like, six, six months. Six months. What happened six months ago? One of the guys laughs and he's like, <laughs> kid, I don't know. I couldn't tell you what happened. Here we are. Here you are. So what? You just popped into existence six months ago? You don't remember what happened before six months ago? You six months old? Frank Frank laughs and he's like, no, I I remember. I had a, I had a life. I had a family. What happened? Was, Please tell me. I was in. I was in like a coma, a coma, and I just woke up. So can you what, like enlighten me? Well, uh, these two guys, they really don't know how they got here. Uh, they just showed up, and apparently, three days later, I did. And uh, <laughs> you wouldn't believe me if I told you, but uh, no, I no, I would believe you. Try me. Try me. There were like these two orbs, and it was crazy. And, and uh-huh. here we are. Where where are these orbs now? I don't. I don't have them. You ain't. You ain't got them. You know who, who might? Any idea? I would imagine someone in the government. Someone in the government. Well, did yeah, did we government were... come here? Did they? Did they? Did they take them from you? Like. They... No, I, I, I used to work. For, I used to you used, used to, work to work for the government. You work for the government. Yeah. What did you do? <laughs> it was a. Uh, it was secret stuff. It was uh, secret. Secret stuff like, like, like with with like time travel. Well, I don't. I don't. It was. It was secret stuff, Fern. Listen. Listen, Frank, and she gets up. She stands up. <sighs> I, I just, I, I'm, I've been popping in and out of existence. Like I'm, I'm traveling between two different dimensions. So whatever you're gonna tell me, is not gonna sound crazy, okay? I've had a hell of a what? week, and my friends are on the other side. I think I'm, a, I'm in some kind of like, like. Like a wormhole, you know, like in, like up there in space, and we're, uh, we're uh, falling to uh, it, fart, and we go backwards fart, and fart, fart, fart. I'm I'm sorry, you've been here and back again. Yeah, yeah. Like I've I I've been here, and then I went back, and then I was I was here again. That's how I knew your name, because we've already met. That, uh, he looks back at the other two, and he's like, "That, that doesn't make sense." That, of course, don't, of course, don't make sense. Why do you think I'm so confused? Wait, who one of the are guys you? Who are you up... two? I've, I haven't met you two before. What are your names? One of the guys comes up to you and sort of kneels down. He's like, Fern, uh-huh. 
My name's James. I uh, also had a run-in with these balls. Um, mm-hmm. Can you describe them to me? Yeah. Um, so they, they was, it was smaller. You could, you could hold them and they, they were like glowing orange. Um, and, uh, well, whenever I held them, I I was visible to my friends, but we lost them. And, uh, and now I'm, I'm real invisible to my friends. Like they don't even know where I am. Like I'm on the other, I'm in another dimensional plane. He sort of looks back at the other two and he's like, None of that makes sense. None of uh, uh, the, the math doesn't check out on that. I, uh, it doesn't. Uh, what? And and the third guy comes up to you. And he's like, Fern. Um, my name is Chester, and uh, I I used to work on them. Um, work on the, the vaults. Yes, I I studied them, and uh, there was an accident, and, and here I am. And, uh, I, I don't, where did you find them? What? I, I, I don't understand. So, so we, we, we was at a fair and, um, then we got into a fight and then the cops came, but it wasn't our fault. It was, it was definitely, it was definitely the originals who started the fight. So, so we had to run away from the originals and we hid in a tent. And then I tried to take Clarence in a wheelbarrow and then Sam tried to set the forest on fire. And then we all tripped and fell into a gigantic cave area and there were skeletons. And then we found some balls and I touched them. Frank and stops you and he's like, just describe the cave for me. Fern, what did the cave look like? Uh, the cave was dark and there were skeletons in it. And then, uh, well, they, they was all wearing like overalls or something. And, um, and, but they, they were very, they were very dead. So we had we had the we had the balls in the center of the room, and uh, and then I and then I touched him. Frank looks at you, and looks down, and starts undoing some of his uh, like the outer part of his jacket, and underneath you see the exact same jumpsuit that you saw in the cave. Oh my god, that's the. It's the you're wearing the jumpsuit. You're wearing you're wearing what the skeletons were wearing. in that he room. Looks, he looks down, and he's like, so they're all dead. No, no, we're not dead. 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 But you you, you saw you saw the skeletons. It, it, I don't but but but, but like, I mean how what if that was just or were you were you in that room? Do you know what that do you know what that room meant? Like there were there were Fern. two, um, yeah. Fern, <clears throat> how were they skeletons? I don't know. Uh, I mean, they looked like human skeletons, but they were. They couldn't. I don't know. They were they just couldn't. all lying there in the room, and there there was a bunch of them. Fern, there's no way it could they could decompose like that and underground in six months. There's there's no way. Yeah, that is that is real weird, but that's how it was. Fern, what that year was how is it? it was. What do you mean? What year is it? It's uh nineteen ninety. Uh, shoot, what it? What year is it? He well, looks back uh, at the others. He looks back at the others, and one of the men sort of like crumples into the ground. And the other guy looks back and he's like, it, it's not 1983? No. It's definitely, it's definitely not the 80s anymore. It's definitely the 90s. The three of them look at each other and like, we, we, we need to get back. We need to get back to town. Um, Frank looks at him and he's like, Fern, would you, would oh. you come with me? There's, there's a group of us. There's another three back at town. Uh, one of them is, he just got here, and I think he'd probably like to hear the story too, because he's just as confused as you. And I, 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 we have no idea what's happening right now. Hey, uh, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll come with you. Okay, uh, we have to, we have to get you in a splint or something. Uh, and they start to like put something makeshift together, and uh, Chester looks at a watch on his wrist, and he's like. We don't have much time. It's it's gonna be night soon. We gotta get back. 
Are you saying that we're at work this this year is nineteen eighty three? Frank looks at you and he's I I don't I don't know. I don't know anymore. And they start to bandage you and wrap this splint along your leg and uh and they sort of like look over you for wounds to see if there's anything serious. They can't find anything. So whatever happened to you is internal. Um, and so right. they they are sort of getting you up to, to get back to town. And Chester's still looking at his watch. And whatever he's doing, he he's counting down to something. And James uh looks around and he's like, Are we gonna leave? Are we gonna leave the traps? We have to bring food, we have to bring something. And Frank, uh panics and he looks at you and he's like I, I, don't, I don't know i don't even know i don't even know what to do anymore and he's like we just got we got to get back and james uh goes off towards the traps or whatever and he sort of runs away and frank is like james come back and they and he pieces out and you see all this happening in front of you these are three grown men at full panic mode hey hey Hey, hey, James. James, James it has run off further. He's 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 pieced out. Chester's still looking at his watch, and Frank is sort of like helping you up on his shoulder. Okay. Um. Listen, I thought I thought going back to town was was a real good idea. Uh. Listen, maybe I can tell you something that you might not know about what's going on here with these balls. Chester laughs. He's like. I don't think so, kid. And he like is still looking at the the clock. Where are you? Where are you checking your watch for? What's going on? He looks at he looks at him. He's like, look, finding food here is is not easy, and uh, <laughs> we have to go into the woods. And uh, well, at night, the woods get a little out of control, so <laughs> we have to hurry. The woods get out of control. Okay. Well, while we're walking away from the woods, can you explain to me why the woods get out of control? I'm just trying to understand what you mean by that. As you say that, you hear a blood-curdling howl. Is that what you meant? Yeah, the 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 they look at you and they nod, and even Jezebel who's at your feet cowers behind you. Okay, well then let's let's go then. Let's hurry. Sure. Uh they all start to like get you up to your feet. And Chester looks around and is like, Do we do we wait for James? What do we do? I, I don't I don't know what to do. If he does if he, he doesn't know. Listen, whatever's whatever's out there sounds like it wants to hurt somebody. Uh I think we should probably worry about ourselves right now. I'm sorry about your friend, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go after him. Chester looks at you and is like, shut up! We don't even know you! Yeah, I don't even know you, but I know I don't want to meet whatever's in the forest coming after us. We don't leave anyone behind, kid. That's how we survive here. Oh, great. Well, it looks like you guys are doing wonderfully. Sorry you don't need my help. Where's town anyway? Frank looks down and he was like, Fern, it... it we're just a little stressed right now. This is a lot of new information to take in. We just we just don't know. Where's James? And he looks at Chester, and Chester's like, we got like 10 minutes. We got like 10 minutes. Well, to what? Like sunset? Uh, Chester sun? points up. Chester points up in the haze of the sky. There, There is no sun, but we're, whatever the light is, is dimming. All right. Okay. Mm. Well, I guess I have no other option. I'm just going to wait with you guys here. So, uh, yeah, let's let's do a let's see what terrible role can Fern do here. Um, uh, and pick it. <laughs> yeah, I want you to I want you to roll sneak because that's going to determine how much actual time you guys have here, and I'm going to let you oh. represent the three of them. Yeah. So, yes. So you you're like, yeah. We'll wait here, and uh, the the three of you together sort of like crouch down and up against the side of a tree and try to be as quiet as possible. 
and you hear something rustling in the distance. Can Fern uh, roll to maybe see what it is? Not like go sure. forward, but can she see it? Yeah, investigate. Okay. Ah, perfect. Uh, yeah, so it definitely seems to be uh, a human-sized thing. <laughs> it isn't an animal as far as you can tell. Uh-huh. Frank. You panic or just sit tight? Sit tight. She wants to whisper to Frank. Sure. Uh you can. You're close enough together. Frank. Is that your friend, James? Frank looks at you and he's like, I don't know. Okay. Well, whatever whatever's hunting you guys. Does it look like man? Frank looks over, and next to you, Chester has pulled out what appears to be some sort of makeshift, uh, I, I don't want to say sword. I want to say some sort of, like, butcher knife that's been sharpened and honed to be a weapon. But it's it's big. It's sort of, it's it's like somewhere between a butcher knife and machete. And And he is holding it and pointing it at whatever is in that tree. So it's not in tree, the I'm tree sorry, or it's not. I'm sorry. It's a bush. It's, it's, a, it's bush. a bush. Okay. My bad. So this human sized thing is coming out of the woods. Um, Fern pulls out her slingshot mm -hmm. and grabs like a rock or something like a pebble and slings sure. it to the right of this human sized thing. All right. If you'll roll the, so under your name, there's said slingshot. Mm -hmm. And if you'll roll that. Uh, the, the dice right next to the slingshot? Yep. Yes. Sure. So you pull back, and, and you want to fire into the bushes? Yes. Sure. You fire right in, and you hear, Oh, God damn it! <laughs> and out comes Frank, or uh, sorry, uh, James, with a, like, big red mark on his head, carrying what appears to be Two squirrels and traps. Okay, all right. Whoo, I thought that was definitely not going to be a human. Whew. <laughs> he looks at you, and James is just like, kids, kids, sorry. goddamn kids. Frank sorry, is sorry. laughing. Frank, like, lets out, like, a jovial laugh. Like, <laughs> right? And they're just, and Chester is still looking at his watch. And um, I want you to roll for me sneak one more time. Okay. Oh, no. You have one re-roll if you want to use it. Yes. I'm not going to tell you what the outcome is. Yes. Okay, sure. Okay. <gasps> okay. So you, uh, no one hears the, the, the loud laughter. Nothing notices you guys. And you have you have some time to get out of here. It looks like, um, yeah. Frank's like, all right, we we got to get back to town. We got to go. So the yeah. the four of you now start heading down the side of the mountain towards where town is, and you know this to be where towards where town is because it's the same mountain you've always known. It just looks different, and you're heading the right direction that would lead you back to your hometown. So uh, as you go, you start to notice that the sky above you. Is it doesn't it isn't just like that hazy orange color anymore. Wherever the light is, it's slowly fading away. And there is definitely uh something happening, but there's like a fog rolling in. Whatever is happening, a fog is rolling in on the ground. It's almost as if the haze in the sky has sort of like come down to the to the surface. She uh, gets closer to the group and she just kind of like grabs Jezebel's fur, making sure Jezebel's okay. Sure. Jezebel so, uh, is fine. What's, what's going on with this? Um, you, guys, you guys able to see through this at all? Um, Frank 
looks down at you and taps on his his mask, his face mask. He's like, it's the only way. Oh, okay. All right. Well, uh, listen, I ain't got any goggles, so uh, I'm just going to hold your hand, okay? Frank holds your hand, uh, and the four of you continue to walk down the side of this mountain. Um, Chester starts counting, and he's counting down from 60. What does it smell 50. like? It smells like... You know when it has just rained? Oh, yeah. It smells like that. Okay. So like ozone? But it hasn't rained. Kind of like... Yeah, there's yeah. like an ozone feel to it, but it hasn't rained. There's no... There's The ground isn't wet, but it has that smell. Okay. All right. He reaches 40 seconds. She just keeps walking, making sure Jezebel's right by her. Sure. 30 seconds. They start to pick up the pace, and Frank is is kind of dragging you a little bit as you go down the side of this mountain. She she just tries to keep up with him. Mm-hmm. And you start to move a little bit faster. Uh 20 seconds. I'm gonna need you to roll body and move. <laughs> <gasps> awesome. Yeah, baby. Awesome. You oh, you, you don't you okay. don't even just keep up. You start to move a little bit faster than them and they start keeping up to you. Uh Chester looks down and just shouts, "It's time!" And okay. as you look up, the sky that once was completely covered in a haze and a fog is now vibrant and complete like there's no f- haze up there at all. Just blackness, just solid blackness. And all of those, those, all that fog and all that cloud have come down to the ground and are now swarming in behind you. And it's almost as if it's one of those dust cloud videos where you can see it rumbling towards you. Behind you, a fog is coming at you very quickly. She's still with Frank. She's still got Frank's hand. You're a little bit ahead of them. You're like outpacing them. Okay, well, she's going to slow down just a bit because she wants to stay with Frank because he's obviously got some sort of apparatus that can see through this, maybe, or at least get them safely. So she wants okay. to make sure to stay with the group. Yeah, so so you hang back, and this this fog starts rolling at you, and it hits you like a wave. Um, it, it like It's cold, and it is unsettling. There's a vibe in your body that's just... It feels like electricity. Like if you've ever, this is for my California people. If you've ever been in an earthquake right before it happens, that moment of like, something's not right. Right. And you just feel it. That is the same thing. You have this like electricity in your body that something is happening and your every Mm. sensory part of you is triggering like, oh no. Um, And it's it's very, very cold. Feeling before like a tornado sort of deal where it's like, everything's just wrong (laughs) Mm -hmm. yes it is it is an everything is wrong kind of feeling you just know something is not right okay well hey uh, hey frank are we almost uh are we almost there they have completely stopped they they look around at you and uh chester's like we're not even we're not even close and uh, James now pulls out what appears to be a pistol. What do we? What do we do? What do we do now? Uh, the three of them look at you, and they're like, "We've, we've. This has never happened before. We've all, we, we've always made it back." Okay. Um. Does Fern have? Anything on her person that she didn't have before? Or is it just nope. the same? You are okay. the exact same. Yeah. Okay. How is Jezebel looking? Jezebel is hiding behind you. She's hiding behind and, me. Okay. And and just sort of like light whimpering. Frank, can you 
Can you see anything out of out of them glasses? Or are you just just This is a great They can, but I would like for you to roll investigate to see if you can actually see anything. Yeah, you can it is foggy as hell. You can't see, you know that Jezebel is around your legs and hiding behind you because you can feel Jezebel behind you. It is so foggy that Frank, you can see the outline of Frank and James and Chester, and that is it. They, however, can see very clearly, and Frank looks down at you, and he's like, when we get back in town, we got to get you one of these goggles, kid. And he, uh, he like, sort of pulls you closer, and the, the, the three of the men sort of put you in the middle of them to, to protect you. Okay. And you slowly start moving uh, further down towards town, but you are, you are basically in a defensive formation going as slow as possible down towards town. And that's when you hear a uh, very, very loud howl, one that isn't in the distance anymore. It is nearby. It is something that is very, very close. She just keeps walking. She doesn't make a sound. Sure. Um, James fires off a shot into the into the uh, the haze, and it's a loud echoing. It is definitely not what a normal gun sounds like, right? It is. It is. There's an echo and a reverb to it that sounds almost like you're in a cave, but you know you are not in a cave. You are in a forest, walking out of a forest. She can't see anything and she can nope. only hear. <laughs> so she really has like nothing to do at this point. Um sure. is, she, is she able to roll and investigate again to see yeah, if you can. Mm -hmm. Try it one more time. <clears throat> no, you still can't see anything. You have no idea where you're at. You have yeah. no idea how far you've gone. You have no idea where you're headed into town. You don't know a thing right now. All you know is that there is something getting very, very close to you. And uh, James fires again. Jeez. Give me a heart attack. Uh, Chester looks over at James and he's like, we don't have that many bullets, man. He's like, I'm aware of how many we have. You can roll again. You can roll to investigate. You can try something else. Uh, um... <sighs> Maybe... Um... Maybe like comprehend. She maybe she has an idea of of like if it's an animal or if it's something she just has. Sure, um, sure, yeah. I mean, you maybe, don't have comprehend. <laughs> yeah, literally don't have Use it. Mind. Use your mind and try. If you get a one with that, we can see what happens. Yeah. No, no, you are. <laughs> this is terrifying. This yeah. is an unpleasant, unfamiliar experience. Jesse is freaking out. You're in a place you thought you knew, but you no longer know. The, you, it's impossible to see right now. And as you start to get your most panicked, something slashes at James. <gasps> and he is hit, and the gun drops to the ground. And he sort Burn of stumbles. He's like, okay. You grab the gun, and James sort of falls back. Uh, Chester and uh, uh, Frank run over to him and leave you sort of by yourself on the left side of them. There's, you can make out their figures. They're she, close enough that you can make other figures, but you are now back over to him. <laughs> yeah. You were you, aside, aside from the figures you can make out, uh, you are now just by yourself and you want to scooch towards those figures. Yes. Okay. Wherever they want. Yeah. So let's do a body and a move. Okay. You you move towards you move towards the the 
the outlines that you see and you start getting uh-huh. closer uh but you okay. still can't make out what they're doing but they are down on the ground uh james is screaming something has happened to james is, is, he, is he okay uh none of them respond to you but you still hear james screaming Just gonna tiptoe over there to, to sure. towards the outlines. Uh huh. <laughs> sure. You walk. You walk over to the to the outlines of where they're at, and uh, if you could give me a body sneak. Oh, thank God. Cool. So you start to move closer to them, and you can make out the three of them. It's it's definitely the three. Uh, but you step in something that's wet. It's the first wet thing you've stepped in since you've ever been here, but you can't really determine what it is. Uh, can they hear her? Um, yeah, I would imagine so. But Frank is, I'm sorry, James is still screaming. What now? Is Jezebel still with her? Jezebel's still with you. You can hear Jezebel sniffing. Okay, good. Is she sniffing like the wet patch? Whatever, whatever, whatever you're standing in, she's sniffing it. Yes. Fern reaches down, wipes the bottom sure. of her shoe, and looks at her fingers. Uh, yeah. Through the haze, it's definitely brownish red liquid. It smells. It smells uh, like uh, like little coppery. She keeps walking forward. Yeah, you walk forward, and uh, will you give me a sneak again? You stumble and you fall down. Uh, you've tripped. You tripped over something, and as you look back, the thing that you've tripped over is a arm. She holds down vomit. <laughs> sure. Uh, you, you you sort of panic, and when you look back up, you see uh, the shadow shape in front of you. Uh, do you keep going towards it? Actually, will you do me a favor? Will you uh-huh. roll? Uh, <laughs> will you roll mind for me really quick. Sure. Just a straight mind roll. Just a straight mind roll. Come on, All right. give me something good. All right. So yeah, you see, you see, you see the uh uh shape in front of you of uh the shadow in front of you. You move toward it. Okay, so she sees the shape. Yeah. But is there any are there any defining features on the shape? You still hear James, you still hear James screaming. But there's never been defining features on any of them. It, there's okay. just yeah, she, she like moves shadows it. in the mist. All right. She moves towards so it. You move to, yeah, you move towards mm-hmm. it. Uh, yes. As you get closer, it's still hunched over. It still appears to be uh, the guys that you're looking for. But as you move closer to this, uh, and this is where your mind roll comes in, you notice that James screaming is coming from behind you can i just take a second here just sure okay (laughs) (laughs) Mm mm-hmm So, so we still have we still have Jezebel right next to us, right? You do. Okay. And you have a gun. The shapes have the gun. Yep. We don't have that many bullets, uh, as Chester had said. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, um, <laughs> oh, bitch. there are shapes in front of us. There are three shapes, you said? 
it's it, it's hard for you to tell. It's hard to tell. But James screaming Whatever. is definitely coming from behind. Yep, his screaming is definitely coming from behind. Whatever's in front of you is it looks like it could be them, but because you rolled your mind roll, James screaming becomes very clearly behind you. And you know they went over to James. Okay. Fern starts uh, starts backing up. And then she sits down with mm-hmm. the gun and sits there. Where are you backing up to? Where are you backing up to sit down? Uh, just like, I guess, technically towards backing up towards the, the screaming. Okay. Um, but she's trying, she's very trying not to like step on the arm again. Mm-hmm. So fact, yeah, you, you back up she's looking for the arm. Let's do a sneak roll for me. If you would, we'll see if you noticed while backing up. Okay. So yeah, you start to back away from whatever this is and you can tell that it is not three guys all grouped together. It is something very big down on the ground. Okay. Does she see the arm? Uh, let's do a investigate roll and see if you notice it. Yeah, you see it. Sweet. She picks it up, throws it as far as she can away from herself. Oh all right so you pick it up you throw it let's do a body and uh force roll you don't have a force so let's just do body no you pick it up and try to throw it and it plops down right in front of you maybe maybe a foot away right in front of you and whatever that thing is that's that's out there in the mist starts to rise up and definitely turn around towards you Uh oh. Do you continue okay. backing up? No. Okay. She stays put. Just keeps her gun. Clicks it. Keeps it locked at. And keeps it mm-hmm. just aimed directly at whatever this thing is. And just stands perfectly still. And she tells. Jesse to sit silent. Okay. So, yeah, you tell Jezebel to be quiet, and this thing starts coming towards you. And you, it isn't just like it's walking with each step, and you can now see legs. With each step, the ground shakes. There's a, there's a tremor as it starts to move towards you. It is James still screaming? Toward... James is still screaming. Yes. There's if you can imagine this moment, it is one. If this was a movie, there would be no background music. There would literally just be the voice of a man screaming like bloody murder in the background, and something slowly moving towards you as if it's almost sniffing the air. Does it make any noise? It doesn't make any noise. It is the only, all it does, you can hear it, you can hear it like, it's sniffing for something. Which may be how it can detect you in the mist. So it's coming towards her. Um, Mm Mm-hmm. What's your plan? <laughs> this is so like, uh, um, sorry, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'm like, ah, uh, uh, okay. James screaming. Mm-hmm. 
gonna stay put. Just gonna stay put okay. and keep this keep the gun locked on. Sure. It. it moves closer. It is it is now to the point where whatever this thing is, you can hear its breathing. And it is it is like a and it's moving closer towards you. And it is big. It is it is as it approaches you, it is it is definitely on what appears to be two front and two back legs, and it is maybe the size of you, but hunched over, walking towards you. So if this thing stood up straight, it would be huge. She's going to stay put. Okay. It moves even closer, and you can now feel its breath. It is it is feet away from you. It is sniffing at you, and from in the in the uh, um, mist, you can see what appears to be two eyes that are yellow looking right at you. They're big. Okay. It stays there and stares at you and keeps sniffing. And suddenly you hear Frank call out, Bird? Bird, where are you? She's holding her breath. Okay. It looks down and swaps. From what you can tell, swallows the arm whole, just like chomps into the arm that's down on the ground that's about a foot in front of you and just rips it up off the ground. And you hear like this gross, crunching, nasty sound of this beast devouring poor James' arm. She shoots the gun. You shoot the gun? Uh, will you roll for me a uh, tech and uh, just a solid tech roll, if you would be so kind? Okay. You pull the trigger, so you know how to operate a gun. You pull the trigger, and the gun fires. I need you to roll for me a body and... Uh, you don't have force. A, a body so you can... Handle the recoil. Recoil. Yeah. So you fire the gun, and it goes off, <laughs> and it makes a very loud bang, just like before when Chester sh uh, shot. Uh, no, it was James. When James shot it, and it makes a very loud echoing noise, and this beast in front of you howls and just like recoils in terror, and howls very loudly, almost deafening the echo of the gunshot but you miss you do not hit it even though it's right in front of you the recoil does it whizzes past this thing it does and it it just howls oh i mean like it freaks out it isn't just like it's a it's a panicked like how and it starts like looking around and it starts uh uh like clawing at the ground and starts making just terrible noises Um. Mm. She fires it again. Sure. This time, I'm gonna need you to do the exact same thing. I'm gonna need you to do a uh, tinker, or I'm sorry, a tech roll. Uh, just a straight tech roll. Cool. And then a body roll. Just body. Yep. Awesome. You fire again, and you <laughs> hear. You you fire again. And you hear a yelp. You hear something that sounds like something got hit, uh, and it is it is a it's an unfamiliar sort of, sort of noise. You don't recognize this sound, 
It sounds, you've never heard something scream like that. It isn't a man. That's for sure. It isn't, it isn't like a humanoid you've shot. You you've shot something and it makes a noise and you, it, whatever you've done, it turns and looks right at you and it's pissed off. It is furious and it starts charging you. Well, <laughs> we tried. Uh, <laughs> um, she yells, Jazzy, to me. And they just take the fuck off. <laughs> to nowhere. Well, I need you to um, roll uh, body and move. Do move for me. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, <laughs> so you turn and you start to run. And as you start to run, this thing is behind you and is chasing you down. It is infinitely fascinating. You are wounded. Uh, you have some sort of internal damage. And despite the fact that earlier you were, you were good to go, right now either fear or something is creeping over you and you are not moving nearly as fast as you were before. And this thing is, is gaining on you. Um, I need you to do me a favor and would you roll a give me one body roll and one uh empathize roll. So body, straight body? Straight body and one empathize. Okay. Okay. So as you start to run, this thing's gaining on you, and you can feel the ground beneath you shake and tremor as it is getting closer and closer, and Jezebel has run off ahead of you. And you can still see Jezzy in front of you, but she is almost leaving you behind because even she's terrified of whatever's happening. Good. Uh, <laughs> as, you, as, you start, as you start to get into full panic mode and just start running as much and as fast as you can, there's like a flash, and for a brief moment, you're back in the forest, and Jezebel's running in front of you, and a flash again, and you're back in the mist. <gasps> and there's a flash again, and you're back in the forest, <gasps> and another flash, and you're back in the, in, in the mist. Uh, it keeps happening repeatedly and faster, and faster, and faster, and faster, and I'm going to need you to roll. You already rolled your body. Okay. I'll give it that. You, as as things start to happen around you, uh, the the worlds are sort of like shifting. So if we had a a like side scrolling view, the background would be flickering in and out between reality and whatever this is, and it's you sort of running in like a strobe effect as this thing is chasing you. But, uh, I'm gonna give you. The chance to roll investigate. If you would be so kind. Yeah, okay. So you don't look behind you to see what this thing actually is. But you just keep going. And this thing is getting closer and closer and closer. And you smack right into a person that you know. A person that you've seen before. Uh, and you fall to the ground. And at your feet, roll two oddly shaped balls. And you are now back in uh, our reality. And standing above you is a much recognized figure, the young Alistair Wolf. And he looks at you, and the two balls have sort of knocked out of his hand. And he uh, goes down to reach for them. And I'll let you uh, roll for me a body move and also roll for me a uh, just straight mind roll to see if you realize where you're at and can stop him from getting those balls. There's the yeah. zeros. All right. So you are, you are stunned. You are completely stunned. And he grabs, he grabs those, those balls and looks at him. He's like, Fern, what, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Is it still 
there? Is it still there? He looks down at the balls, and he, they're in his hand, and he looks at you, and he's still confused. There, there, there's something chasing me. There's, there's, there's something behind me. There's something Fern, behind there's, me. Fern, there's... There's my doll he, like, here. He, he looks around, and uh, like Jezebel is is sort of like wandering around the perimeter of where you're at, sort of sniffing. But he's looking down at you, and he has the balls in his hands. And you can see him, Fern. And he can see you. Is are, are we are we back? Are we back? Are we are we in? Are we are we here in the in the nineties? He like reaches out to touch you. Uh do you touch him back? No. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Do not touch me. Don't touch sure. me. Sure. He, he's like, Fern, I wait. And he holds the balls up to you and he's like, No, 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 wait. Just keep holding those. Keep holding those. Please. Please don't, please don't send me back there. There's something uh, chasing me. Fern, Fern, there's not, there's, there's nothing chasing you. I yes, there was. I took these, there I took was. these from my grandfather, and I no, Fern, Fern, Fern. I took these from my grandfather, and I put fake ones in his pockets, and I'll never know the difference. And I just have to get back to the others, and we can. Re- don't don't you see? Don't, no, Fern, don't you see? You're here. He like points at you. He's like, you're. I see you. Yeah, but I wasn't here. I wasn't here like like five seconds ago, and there was the thing chasing me, and and it was real big, and I had a gun. Does no, you still have the gun? It, no, you do <laughs> not still have the gun. You are. It's just you. Uh, anything you had previously is is gone. Okay. Well, just just don't touch me, okay? Just don't. Just whatever you do, just don't don't. Don't let go. Don't let go of the box. He like he like takes he takes the he takes the uh uh the two balls and he like takes them and puts them in different hands. He's like, look, Fern, look. And he, there, he's oh. no longer holding them together. Okay, great. Okay. Just whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Just don't touch me. He, he, he looks down. And he's like, don't, don't you understand? Fern, we, 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 we fixed, we fixed you. I don't believe that. And and he looks down at you and he, he he sort of puts them one in each pocket and he's like, You don't need to trust me, Fern, but we should we, we should find the others. We'll find the rest of the team. Yeah. We'll, we'll, yeah, we gotta go. Yeah. We gotta go before that thing comes back and oh god. Fern, Fern, there's Jane. nothing there's Fern, look around. And he sort of he's like, It's the middle of the day, there's nothing here. Fern, there's nothing here. What the fog? There's no fog, Fern. Fern, there's no fog. Fern, there's no fog. Fern, there's nothing here. There's no fog. Okay, well, can we just get out of this forest, please? Of of course, of course. We'll find your friends. Oh, Fern, this is. Don't you see? This is great news. It's great. Yeah, it's real great. Uh huh. Okay, let's go find my friends. Uh, where's my dog, Jazzy? Jezebel runs up to you and sort of like licks your face, like jumps up on you, starts licking you, and Jezebel seems very excited. Okay, all right, it's a good girl. Okay, um, let's let's go. You just lead lead the way. Sure. He heads. He starts heading back up the mountain towards uh the facility, uh that uh, the, the 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 exit that you guys had come out of that led deep into the mountain that led to the other side where that house was that was sort of in that field. Um, and so the the two of you start to walk that way. Meanwhile, you cut back to the other three who are all together and have gone off in search of what exactly were you looking for? Where were you, you were headed down the stream to find town? I, I well, think that's that way. <laughs> well, no, I just, I'm curious because I just want to know if that's, if you were going to use the stream to go back to town, because I mean, the stream could find you the ocean. If you followed it long enough, like you'd eventually hit a river and then you could go to the river to the ocean. I just, I'm curious what your strategy was. Well, I mean, I'm obviously a skilled outdoorsman, so... Well, we're going to take no, the river no. to the ocean, and then we're going to live underwater from now on, because apparently right, nobody people. else can bother us. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. So the three of you walk along this uh, this small stream, um, and uh, you continue down, but you're moving further away from, from this mountain, and you're heading deeper into the woods. Uh, 
definitely uh, you start to notice you're walking definitely away from where you would imagine a clearing or a field would be that would lead you back towards town. It definitely is more foresty the area you're going into. All right, mm-hmm. so maybe maybe town's upstream. Possible. I mean, because part of it is I'm trying to not. Uh, I mean, if we're not following some landmark, we're just going to be walking in circles. Hmm. It's very possible. Yeah. Uh, you could again. You have the options of continuing with the stream in either direction. You could uh, head back to the facility. You could try to go around the other side of the mountain, or you could continue deeper into the forest. It's your guys' call. Well, Alistair went deeper into the forest, so I yes, don't know if we want to risk running into him again. Yeah. I mean, we guess we can try to go back. What does Clarence think of all this? Clarence, do you have a strategy? You're, 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 you've got a mind for this stuff. Well, like the the big hill or whatever the that we came from, is that something you can see from town? Is it like a uh, yeah, but it's in the distance. You are definitely so the place you drove to is is remember you drove out with Alistair to this sort of fieldy area where his his secret shack was. Um, yeah, you you can you can't see town from where you're at, but you can see the mountain from town. So you guys are on the opposite side of this mountain. Whatever you did when you came through the underground passage, you went basically under the mountain into the woods. Is what you can deduce. Okay. You sort of skipped. You. It was a tunnel dug through the entire mountain, and you guys yeah. are on the opposite side now. Who's on the opposite side? Okay. Well, yeah. We're the. If you want to go back to town, it's. I mean, we can go this way if you want. Yeah, I'm cool with it, but it's on the other side of where we came from. You I know. know. And then I turn around. You. Well, yeah, I, I figured. You, I figured you <laughs> did, but, but it's. I just. Uh, it's. It's. Yeah. Sure. I'm already not Eddie, listening anymore. <laughs> Eddie, do you have any input on what they should do, or do you just follow Samantha? Uh, uh, listen, I'm I'm just along for the ride, man. Sure. <laughs> uh, so the three of you walk back up the river, back towards where Clarence believes is the direction of town, and as you sort of fade away into the distance, and you uh, walk deeper into. Uh, not the forest, but the path leading back up the hill. The camera pans back, and you hear this like blood curdling howl, and a foot slams on the ground, and that's when we fade to black. All right, there we go. That is the end of this episode. <laughs> we brought it with us or with Fern, and oh, no. uh, that is it for us. But next time, next time, who knows what will happen because terrifying things are foot for the oddballs <laughs> or a claw. Oh God. Yeah. Or just one claw or just it's, yeah. it's a claw. And that's it. It's, it's all it was the entire time. One yeah. claw. Yeah. It's just so, a claw on the end of a stick. <laughs> let's go round this room. And uh, Fern is. Elizabeth, you're going through some stuff. I'm going to start with you. I'm going to start with you. Uh, <laughs> tell us what's going on with you, but also, how you doing? How you holding up? So, are you okay? Yeah, I was. I was actually very scared. Uh, <laughs> it was, was really terrifying, you guys. So, um, this week I'm going to be playing uh, some We Happy Few when it uh, comes out. So it's coming out this Friday. I'm going to be playing on Saturday. So I'm happy about that. Um, and I'm also still trying to get my mind together after this episode because I feel really bad for Fern. Like she had some, she had to have some nerves of steel to go through that. And I definitely do not have nerves of steel. So it was tough. (laughs) It was two seconds like from, I can't do this. (laughs) I can't make these choices. But yeah, uh, you can find me on uh, twitch.tv slash Elspeth, which is where I normally am. And we can, we can discuss some more about how terrifying this was. All right. Uh, I feel so bad for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not okay. Uh, Ken, uh, what's going on with you, my dude? Oh, you know, same old same. Just kind of regretting all my decisions about my career on YouTube because uh, it's a great place. Uh, 
Find me on uh-huh. twitch.tv slash cementoskin <laughs> where I still play games or still can because, you know, YouTube loves them. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> That's a hopefully we can start back right uh, we got a we got a we got a D and D show that we've done one season of. We're going to start the second season up maybe next weekend. So if you guys want to watch some of that, you can come on by on Saturdays and it'll be it'll be a good time. Yeah. Sure. Octo, hi. What's going on with you this week, dude? Hi, I'm back from Evolution Championship Series 2018. Uh, I'm I tried to play the new Dragon Ball Fighters patch, but I realized that that game is Kuso, so I stopped playing it and. Uh, so I'm trying to instead say F it. I'm going to try Bloodstained Curse of the Moon because everybody said that was really good. So I'm playing that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, check me out. It'll be fun. Or maybe it won't. I don't know. Who's to say? <laughs> Who's I think to we're say? all really sure of ourselves Who's so far. Sure. Yeah, we're Who's all very saying? ambivalent. Like, we're oh, like, hey, yeah. no. Who's to say? <laughs> Morgan, uh, are you going to be like, I work at a place, but who's to say? I might not anymore. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I don't even know. I mean, so far as they know, I just kind of sit in this room sometimes and mm-hmm. chat with you guys. <laughs> they don't really know. They probably don't even watch. I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? It doesn't matter. Uh, I work at a video game studio. It's called Bonfire Studios. Uh, still doing the same thing. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> this, All of your information's the- there. I know, right? We're we're just we're doing the ambivalent version. Next next week we will do the super braggy, awesome, amazing version. Oh my god. I'm gonna hold everyone to a soupy braggy. Soupy? A soupy braggy. It's gotta be real soupy. A soupy <laughs> braggy version. Yep. Uh as for myself, as with Elspeth, it's all about We Happy Few this week. I'm really excited. Uh game's gonna be wacky and fun. Mm. And uh yeah, there's more ridiculous stuff on the channel and more streams and all that stuff. So it's all on the side. It's on the side. You guys should go watch more videos of this and get caught up on the story. You can yes. check it out on JP's channel or my channel and uh, you can get caught up and figure out what's going on. I'd love to hear. I'd love to see your tweets with your thoughts on what exactly happened this week. But um, anyway, that's <laughs> it for us. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you are a patron, you will get some sweet, sweet conversation of everyone's thoughts here about what the hell just happened. And I can't wait to hear it because I'm really excited. And I have that's a lot it. to say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next time with another episode. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>